Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about creating favorite search filters for future use. So we have already covered the test management part or how you manage the test cases and cy test cycles using Zephyr plugin in Jira. And we have also covered some of the basic search functionality and saving the filter. So this session will be kind of a re refresher of what we learned previously. Uh, because we have already done some um, adding the filters using basic search and saving those filters. So in order to uh, create the filter, you just need to go to the issues tab at the top and search for issues. So depending on what criteria or what search requirement you have, you need to create the filter or you need to create the uh, the query so for example you want to select issues in the Moomba project select the project and select the status or so all open issues in the Moomba project for which um, you are the assignee okay then once you are done with this query using basic search you can click on save as to save the filter and it will be available under the favorite filter so I'll say my issues in Moomba project and then click on save. So that filter gets saved in favorite filters. The other option to save the filter is you can do, you can write the complex queries using the advanced search in Jira. So if you switch to advanced, you'll see that basic query that you have written, it's, uh, it's form, advanced query form is shown there. Um, to switch to the basic version again basic search again switch click on this basic button and we'll switch to the basic section if you want to add more uh, criteria to the basic search you just click on the more button uh, at the top and you can select the component and other criteria that you want to search the issues for okay and that those criteria will be listed in the basic search again so this is this is all about um, creating the filters in Jira for different issue type or different uh, criteria that uh, that you require or uh, required by the project stakeholders, and then saving those filters at as favorite filters so that you don't have to write those queries again and again for future use of so the most common queries that you use on daily basis should be saved as favorite filters thank you